Good Monday morning, August 3rd. I'm in John chapter 5 this morning. After these things, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem, by the Sheep Gate, a pool, which is called in Hebrew Bethesda, having five porticos. And in these lay a multitude of those who were sick, blind, lame, and withered, waiting for the movement of the waters. For an angel of the Lord went down at certain seasons into the pool and stirred up the water. Whoever then went first, after the stirring up of the water, stepped in and was made well from whatever disease with which he was afflicted. We won't talk about that troubling verse right now, later. A man was there who had been ill for 38 years. 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had already been there a long time in that condition, he said to him, do you wish to get well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no man to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up, but while I am coming, another steps down before me. Jesus said to him, Get up, pick up your pallet, and walk. The very thing he was unable to do for 38 years, Jesus tells him, Go ahead and do it. Immediately the man became well and picked up his pallet and began to walk. What I want to focus on this morning, though, is the question that Jesus asked. Uh, to put it politely, it's a stupid question. Do you wish to get well? And the man doesn't say yes or no, but he answers, Look, I've been doing this for 38 years. Of course I want to get well. But what do you think I've been doing here? Why does Jesus ask such an obvious question? Perhaps because this man needs to think about the consequences of his prayer being answered. What happens if he gets better? Well, then he's no longer going to be able to be an invalid. He's no longer going to be able to depend on other people to carry him back and forth and get his groceries for him and do everything for him. He can't just sit around any longer. He'll have to go get a, get a job and make a living and take care of himself. Be sure you know what you're asking for before you ask for it. And there's a bit of a lesson here for us too. What, what are you praying for? And are you ready for the answer to come as a result of your prayer? Maybe you're praying for a disease or an illness or a chronic illness that you've had for years and years to get better what happens if the lord answers that prayer how is your life going to change from it maybe you've been dealing with an addiction for years and years lord take this addiction away from me okay but are you willing to deal with the emotions that come from getting off of that addiction lord take care of my temper help me to be a nicer person well, okay, then you're going to have to be a nicer person. And you're going to have to treat people a different way. Lord, increase my faith. Okay, but then he may challenge you to do things with that faith. To step out and do things you're not very comfortable with. Be sure you know what you're asking for. Tomorrow I want to chase that same thought and deal with it from a bit of a different angle. But keep that in mind today and I hope you have a great day and a great week.